Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about VPN book. It's a free open source VPN service that you can mask your IP address. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like subscribe and share. We're almost at 70 K 30 away from the big plaque. So I'm super stoked to see what this year comes, but anyhow, let's jump into the video and learn about installing and configuring free VPN services from the interwebs. All right, folks, so here we are on the desktop. So what I'm gonna do is open up my my uh, Firefox here. So we're just gonna do free VPN book, if I can spell, VPN book. So what this is, the absolutely free service, I use it on my laptop and I figured I'd just share this out with the world. So I thought it would be a pretty cool video to make and it's super easy to set up and install. So follow the steps and you should be a-okay. And why would you use a VPN service? You can use a VPN service to mask your IP address. So when you're browsing on the internet, obviously things are masked. It's not giving away your information. But, you know, if you're doing like banking, just to make sure that stuff is encrypted and all that good stuff. Anyhow, let's see if we can uh, get rid of this guy. So let's make this a little bigger. So here we go. If we come down a little bit on their web, uh, on their homepage, you can see free open VPN and PPT VPN. We're gonna go ahead and go to OpenVPN, right? So this requires a download the open source VPN client. If you're using Windows, you guys seen my other OpenVPN on uh, PFSense, you can use the same kind of, uh, same client there, but I'm using this in Kali Linux. This is gonna be installing it on Kali Linux. Usually, if you're working in OFSEC or cybersecurity, you're mainly gonna use your Kali Linux box to do all your pen testing and all that good stuff. And you want to mask your information and stay safe and surf the web anonymously, right? So we have, you know, Euro VPNs and then we have the US and the UK. Obviously I'm in the US. So if we come down here, we can see here that there's a few servers in the US, US one, US two. Let's just go ahead and download US one. We can click on that, we can close this, and we downloaded it right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this downloads folder, and we can see the uh, we can see the file right here. So what I want to do in my I want to go ahead and copy this, and in my documents I want to go ahead and just make a new folder, and I want to put uh, VPN VPN book files okay and i want to come in here paste this in here okay so what we're going to do now we can just right click this and extract here right so in this folder now we have the vpn files so we're not done yet so this is just getting the files to your local machine and all that good stuff so i want to minimize that for now down here is some critical information that you should take note of the username, VPN book, and this fancy password, right? MBR7AHX. So take, I'm gonna take a little snippet of that. Oh, I wanna take a, can I copy this whole thing? I don't think so, because this looks like an image. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave it up for now. I'm gonna take a note uh, later. So let's go ahead and open up a a, uh, a terminal now. So let, let me go ahead and hit LS. Let me go CD. Uh, to that directory, where is that? All right there, so it's CD VPN book, okay? And then let's go ahead and VPN into here, okay? So now we have the files here, right? So we, we have multiple files we can connect to, so we can try to connect to open VPN, or oh, VPN book dash US TCP 443 VPN 80 UDP, UDP 30, uh, 53, which is DNS port. Let's just give this a jingle. Let's just do the first one. Let's do open VPN and then paste that here. And then the username, right? We need the username and password. So let me just go ahead and bring this to the side. Make sure you guys can still see that. You can. And it's going to be VPN book, right? VPN book. Make sure I don't mistype it. And then my password is going to be MBR. 7 ahx hit enter bring this back up a little bit 
and we'll give this a minute and it says initialization sequence complete. So now let's just go ahead and open up a new tab here. Make this bigger, makes this larger so I can see. And let's do IP address. So we can see, wow, this is really big. All right, so let's, uh, let me just bring this a notch down. Okay, so we can see ton zero. This is gonna be my VPN IP address. This is the local IP. We don't really care about that when we're masking the IP address. What we're trying to mask is the public facing IP address on the internet, right? So now let's go ahead and go back to our, our uh, Firefox here. And let's just do like, what is my IP? IP, okay? Let's just hit it. Let's go to whatismyip.com. And obviously it's gonna be a little slower because now you're going through a VPN service and it's gonna go ahead and detect this IP address. Obviously I'm not in Washington DC and you can see the IP address is 198.7.62.204. Now you can just search the internet. Let's go to like YouTube, right? And like I said, it's gonna be a little slower because you know, it's free, right? <laughs> what do you expect? You get what you pay for, just kidding. But now obviously while YouTube loads, we can see here, you know, if you want to learn, obviously, what an IP address is and all that stuff, what is private IPs, what is my IP, blah, blah, blah. And we can also do like IP chicken. I like IP chicken as well. Let's do a little IP chicken and we can see the same IP address here. So that is about it. I don't know why this is taking a long time to load, but I don't care right now. So that's it. And that's how you can mask your IP address. And you can see it up here. In the, maybe you can't see it because it's super small. Uh, but you can see it here. This is my IP address, 109050. Uh, and yeah, that pretty much concludes it. So now if you wanna go ahead and kill that, you can just come back to the tab or the, uh, the terminal, hit control C, we can break that. And if we just do that again, we don't have that anymore. We don't have that tunnel zero interface, right? And just to show you something else, let's try to do Let's try to do a different file. Let's do, let me do an LS really quick. See what all the, let's see UDP. UDP is a lot faster. So let's do open VPN and connect to that. And we need to connect to the uh, VPN again. So let's go ahead and come back here. Did I lose that page? Of course I did. And let's go ahead back to Google VPN book. And let's come back here and come back here, open VPN, and it should be the same. It's, it's the same, uh, same username and password. So it's VPN book, and then it's gonna be MBR7AHX. All right, so now let's see. Now, it's, now we are on 10.8, right? So now we can come back here, let's hit the up arrow, and we are 10.8058. And let's just come back here, just do a little bit of IP chicken, if I can spell, dot com. And I believe, I don't, I don't remember, my memory's bad. I'm not sure if that's the same IP address, but we know this is not my IP address. This is not the IP address that I have from my ISP. And you can see here that the name server is us1.vpnbook.com. So we know we're going through their service. Awesome. Thank you so much, VPN Book, for your awesome service. And it's free. So check it out today and let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a good one and be safe out there, guys.